Hi and welcome to Professor Black's History. Great to have you with us again. Now, of course, we like to say we give you names of people to look up um, and people that maybe you never heard of before. But sometimes it's important to look up a name you have heard of before, but you may not know the uh, story or you may not know why these people are legends. Of course, it depends on when you're born sometimes as to whether or not you're a legend. Uh, of course, we have baseball going on now, the playoffs and everything. So I thought it was a good time to talk about maybe one of the baseball legends, uh, the old Negro Baseball League. Many of you may not know it, but at one point in our, in our history, I'm sure everybody knows it by now, of course, Jackie Robinson had to break the color line. But before that, there was Negro Baseball. And these fabulous players played in this league. And it's almost like if you took all the black players and put them on one team in the NBA and all the white players on another team, what kind of league you would have. So these guys were great athletes and one of the greatest athletes of all was a guy named Josh Gibson. Now the reason we want to talk about Josh Gibson is because I want you to understand that it's not so much things you do sometime in life but uh, when you come along in life it's going to be right. Whatever you, do, whatever you do and when it's your time it is the right time. Josh Gibson was a guy who was a very very great baseball player. Uh, born in December 1911, uh, Josh was born in Georgia and eventually his parents moved to um, Pittsburgh. Uh, he dropped out of school in around the ninth grade to play baseball for the uh, world famous Pittsburgh Crawfords. Now you have to understand at this time some of these teams with the Negro Baseball League, some of these guys, uh, they became legends even while they were playing during, uh, during the time they were playing, I should say. Uh, but Josh Gibson was one of those people. Uh, at 18, he broke into uh, baseball and played his first game. Uh, he was an outstanding player. He was a catcher. Um, and he was on some of the greatest teams of all time in Negro uh, baseball history. Uh, the Homestead Grays, uh, Pittsburgh Crawfords, uh, and of course he also played in the Dominican League and in the Mexican League in the summer times. So now, here's the thing. Uh, Josh Gibson was a guy who was a power hitter. He was hitting home runs left and right. Um, he, he is recorded as hitting over 800 home runs. I want you to go and look it up because if you're one of those people who love baseball statistics, you're going to love Josh Gibson. Josh Gibson was a guy who could knock it out of the park. As a matter of fact, there is a story uh, some of the old Negro League baseball players tell that uh, Josh Gibson at one time um, actually hit a ball out of Yankee Stadium. And that's something they say even Babe Ruth never did. Um, but of course, that could be legend, but many of the old baseball, uh, Negro Baseball League players stick by that uh, story. But anyway, um, that's one of the fun things too about legends. Uh, when you're talking about people like Josh Gibson, uh, he also uh, played with some of the great players like Judy Johnson and Oscar Charlton. Uh, these are the people you also need to look up when you're looking up names uh, in the history books. Well, back that up. Not the history textbooks, because if you go by history textbooks, most of what we tell you, you'll never know. But um, Josh Gibson was an outstanding ball player, uh, and pretty big for, his, uh, for the time. He was 6'1", 210 pounds. He was a catcher, um, and he was a, a slugger. Now, of course, anytime you have legends, you have stories. And one of the great stories about Josh Gibson um, was this. <laughs> of course, they, they kind of <laughs> fabricated, you know, whenever you're talking legendary stuff. But uh, it says one day uh, they were in a playoff game. He was playing for Pittsburgh, and they were in Pittsburgh. And it was two out, uh, two men on base, and uh, bottom of the ninth, Josh Gibson is up. So the pitcher pitched the ball. It was twilight. Josh smacks the ball. The ball goes so high, it goes out of sight. The umpire says, home run. So the next day, they're playing the Homestead Grays in Washington, D.C. So they're in Washington and getting ready for the game. And as the uh, Grays took the field, and the guy is standing out in the outfield, a ball comes out of the sky and falls in his glove. So the umpire looks at Josh Gibson and says, you're out yesterday in Pittsburgh. Anyway, <laughs> that's one of the stories about Josh Gibson. But uh, Josh, if you look up his statistics, again, if you're one of those people who love baseball statistics, this is a guy you're going to want to look up uh, because his statistics were outstanding. Um, he died just a few months before Jackie Robinson broke the color line 
uh, in baseball. Undoubtedly, Josh Gibson would have been one of those people who made it to the major leagues and been a major contributor uh, to one of those major league teams. But uh, he died at an early age, I think it was 35 years old when he passed away um, of a stroke because um, he did a lot of hard living too, a lot of hard drinking and whatnot. But he was a guy who became a legend in his own time. Just like you can, if there's something you want to do, you plan to achieve your goals, you have to just plan your work and work your plan and you will get to where you want to go. It's not always going to be easy, but it is doable. And of course, then again, if it was easy, everybody would do it. So you be you and do you well. We'll talk to you next time on Professor Black's History.